Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to this wonderful Saturday. I'm sure you're having a wonderful weekend already. Today is Saturday, the 13th day of August, 2022. Our topic today is David, a man of prayer and the word. The Bible says, I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. This is David speaking in Psalms 119 verse 113. Thought for the day, your love for God's word is a proof of your dedication to him. The scripture makes it clear that David was a man after God's heart. He was a reference point to all other kings who reigned in Israel. Now, one lesson to learn from David was his dedication to prayer and the word of God. David prayed effortlessly. In Psalm 55 verse 17, he said, evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. David was a scheduled, um, dedicated prayer person. He had a schedule of prayer. He prayed three times a day. The proof of being dedicated to God is having a schedule of prayer time with God. Dedicated people have a rigid schedule of prayer with God, which they dutifully observe. You cannot claim to be dedicated, dedicated to God if you do not have a consistent prayer schedule. If you have a schedule of prayer time with God, that is easily broken or that is not followed, it shows that your dedication to God needs to be taken more seriously. Apart from prayer, David was also a man of God's word. He studied and meditated on God's word consistently. In Psalm 119 verse 97, he said, Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Also in Psalm 119 verse 113, he said, I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Your love for God's word is a proof of your dedication to him. Dedicated people are lovers of God's word. They meditate on God's word and they do not allow vain thoughts to take the place of the word in their hearts. Remember this, your love for God's word is a proof of your dedication to God. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to be lazy in praying and in studying the word of God. Number two, set your spiritual life on fire by a continual maintenance of a schedule of prayer and study of the word. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I refuse the life of spiritual lethargy. I receive the grace and discipline to pray always and to study your word continually. Oh Lord, in Jesus name. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray for you today for a fresh baptism of the spirit of prayer and the word of God be released on you in Jesus name. But before you can be a person of prayer and a person of study of the word, you have to be born again. You are not yet born again. Jesus is not yet the Lord of your life and you want to be born again. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, wishing you a happy birthday today is my privilege. And I'm delighted that you're celebrating a special day today. I wish you a very happy birthday. It's your birthday today. And I wish you the help of God, grace of God be released upon you in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please be plan and prepare and be in Sunday service tomorrow, anywhere you are watching from all around the world. If you're in the Abuja environs, nothing stops you from being physically present at the Glory Dome. It's an experience you don't want to miss. And if you are watching online, we we'll see you online. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Peace.